Do we need to bring a laptop? What am I doing here? Serious, hardcore, professional hackathon hackers. I'm a grade 10 student who doesn't know how to code. Uh, are we supposed to hack something? Oh, we got some pie charts here. We ended up winning second. This is all the stuff that I got. It really had an impact on me. If I didn't go to this hackathon, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. Two months ago, I applied for a software engineering internship at Wealthsimple. And in my application, I wrote a story about how going to my first hackathon at Wealthsimple was what really got me interested in computer science and coding. And despite my beautifully written story, they rejected me. But that's okay, because I'm turning that story into a video. So in this story, not in this story, in this video, I'm going to be sharing a story about my first hackathon. And it's a pretty funny story because I didn't know how to code. My team didn't really know how to code. Our project didn't have any code and we still somehow won. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So for those of you who don't know, hackathons are basically events where students work in teams to build solutions to different problems using technology. And usually people build like websites or apps to solve different problems. And hackathons are usually free and they give you a bunch of free food, free swag, like t-shirts and stickers. All right, so now let's get into the story. So it all started sometime in November, 2017. So almost three and a half years ago now, um, when I was just scrolling through Facebook and then I saw this event on my newsfeed, it was Alpha Hacks. And I was like, okay, this sounds pretty interesting. So I clicked on the event and I just read a bit about it and I decided to apply because I was trying to get more involved with like extracurricular activities and also because of the free food thing. So a few weeks later, I got an email from them. It said, alpha hacks acceptance email so in that acceptance email the organizers made it sound really exclusive and like they made it seem like such a big deal a big accomplishment to get accepted they were like oh there were hundreds of applicants and you were one of the 75 students selected so i was like wow maybe i should go this sounds like a cool opportunity so i was pretty excited and i even forwarded the email to my parents but at this point i wasn't really sure if i was gonna go because you know i knew nothing about hackathons or coding in general and what really convinced me was when they sent an email that said, oh, we have prizes that are gonna be like Amazon gift cards, um, like $50 or something per person. And I was like, whoa, that's a pretty good prize. So uh, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go. And the night before the hackathon, I was sort of second guessing my decision. So I sent them an email and I said, hey, what do I do if I don't have a team? Or like, I don't know how to code. Like, will I still be able to form a team and help them or anything? And they said, yeah, don't worry about it, just show up. And I was like, okay, cool, uh, one more question. Do we need to bring a laptop? Like, bro, it's a hackathon. What are you gonna do, write code on pen and paper? Then the day of the hackathon came. It was just like a one day hackathon on Saturday. And I got to the venue at about 9 a.m. I got registered and everything. So I sat down and I took a good look around the room and I just thought, what am I doing here? Like, it was really intimidating. There were a bunch of students, all older than me, just on their laptops, typing away, doing something that I would later learn was called coding. And I even saw a few people with like their laptop covered in stickers. And I was like, man, these guys are like serious, hardcore, professional hackathon hackers right here. So of course I was trying to blend in and I just pulled out my laptop and I was like, oh wait, I don't know how to code. So uh, I think I just tried doing homework or something and then uh, just waited until opening ceremonies. After the opening ceremony, there was this team formation session, and I was like, ah, I have to talk to people, introduce myself, and convince them to let me join their team. And uh, I remember one of the first people that I talked to during that session was this girl who introduced herself as a like master's student in computer science, and I was like, wow, that's really impressive. Do you wanna join my team? And uh, she asked about my, my background and I was like, oh, well, I'm a grade 10 student who doesn't know how to code. Unfortunately, she said no, but that was a mistake as you will soon see. Eventually, I formed a team with three grade 12 students and one university student. And I remember the university student said, oh, uh, I'm not in CS, I'm in stats. Uh, what's your background? And I was like, background? I'm in grade 10, what's my background? And I was thinking, okay, well, right now I'm taking grade 10 introduction to business so therefore, my background is in business. Anyways, so I asked if anyone on our team knew how to code, and I think a couple of them had a bit of experience with Java, and I was like, okay, cool, cool, Java, nice. Yes, I know what that is, nice. Once we teamed up, we sat together, 
and I said, uh, what, what are we supposed to do now? Like, are we supposed to hack something? Like, what do we even do at hackathons? And uh, apparently they didn't know either. So we had to ask one of the organizers and they said, okay, think of a problem um, involving FinTech and then try to solve that problem using some technology or something. And so we started brainstorming and coming up with different problems and solutions. And I think we actually spent more time doing that than actually working on the project itself. So we decided that we were going to focus on trying to promote financial literacy amongst teenagers. And so our plan was to build an app to basically help you manage your money through like tracking your spending, setting budgets, and like tracking your progress towards goals. Of course, none of us knew how to code, but there was this one girl on our team who was really good at graphic design, and she proposed that uh, we build something in Illustrator and then like put it up on Envision to build like an app mock-up. And then in order to have some technical component to our project, um, one guy said he would like build a website with HTML or something. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. Sounds like a plan, sounds like a plan. And so that was the plan we came up with. And then we had lunch, which was the classic hackathon food, which was pizza. And then after, the, after lunch, um, we continued working on our project. I remember one of the workshops was about Ruby on Rails. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go to this workshop. I'm gonna learn how to code. Ruby on Rails, I got this. But uh, I got to the, to the workshop and the guy said, okay, everyone install Ruby on Rails on your computer. And for some reason, I couldn't. I couldn't get past the first step of the workshop. And so uh, I kind of gave up on that workshop, didn't end up learning Ruby on Rails. I, I still don't know Ruby on Rails. So after that workshop, I walked around to see what other teams were working on and try to learn a bit from them. But uh, I just kept hearing people throw around words like API, Node.js, front end, back end, Python, bugs. And I just kept thinking, why did these people keep talking about animals? The rest of the hackathon, I don't even remember what I was doing because it was basically that one girl that was building out our entire mock-up. And I offered to help and she said, okay, you can make some graphs that we need for the mock-up. And so I was like, all right, cool. So. I went on to like some random online graph maker and I whipped up this work of art right here. As you will soon see, it did not make it into the actual mock-up. Anyways, let me just uh, show you what we made here or rather what she made. So this is our app right here, it's called Momentum. And I think the reasoning behind that was we were trying to help teens move forward towards financial independence. But like Momentum is mass times velocity so like it honestly doesn't make that much sense. I feel like it should have been called something like propulsion, propulsion. Yeah, so it's called momentum. So uh, this is just a mock-up, it doesn't actually work, but uh, we got like a login page here. And this is the, what could have been my graph um, with like the spendings and everything. Um, clearly I gave some inspiration behind this. Yes, obviously. Um, and then we got this like menu page here um, put in your income, put in how much you want to save, like goal setting, track your expenses, setting a budget, um, comparing uh, your progress with your goal. And uh, we got some pie charts here. Once we finished the mock-up, or rather once she finished the mock-up, it was time to pitch. And I was really nervous because I'd never done anything like this before. And I think the only thing that I said in the pitch was like introducing the problem. So after we finished pitching, it was time for opening cere not opening, it was time for closing ceremonies. And I didn't really have any expectations to win because it was my first hackathon. And I don't think our project was really like spectacular or anything because you know, we didn't even write any code. But I guess the judges liked it. Maybe they liked the pitch or they liked the mock-up, but uh, we ended up winning second in that hackathon. Here's a picture of me and my team right here. Uh, as you can see, that is me three and a half years ago. Uh, yes, I am tippy toeing, if you haven't noticed. Yes, I am aware that even though I'm tippy toeing, I'm still shorter than everyone else. So, yeah, we ended up winning second at that hackathon. And you know who didn't win? That girl in her masters. Yeah, remember her from earlier in the video? Yeah, her team didn't win anything, but we got second. Now for winning second place, we won some tech conference tickets and some wealth simple swag, like a t-shirt and a water bottle. And on top of that prize, I also got like 500 wealth simple stickers because they were just in a bowl and there were like a bunch of these bowls around the venue. And there was one bowl right in front of me 
So I just took the stickers because no one else was taking them. So that's how I ended up with, uh, with a bunch of stickers. So yeah, this is all the stuff that I got from the hackathon right here. And I think getting all that free stuff was probably one of my favorite parts of the hackathon because you know, who, who doesn't like free stuff? Looking back, I had no idea what I was doing at that hackathon, but I think that it really had an impact on me. The combination of winning and getting all that free stuff had me really excited to attend more hackathons. Oh, and the, uh, the coding part as well, but I didn't really know anything about coding at the time. The following weekend, I went to another hackathon, which was held at a Shopify office in Toronto, and it was really fun because the food was really, really good. So after going to those two hackathons, I was still really interested in hackathons and like coding and tech and stuff. And so I just went to more and more. And I think now I've done like 14 hackathons. And even though I've done so many, I still really enjoy them. Even though they're online now, they're not as fun, but you know, I still enjoy going to hackathons. Before this hackathon, I didn't really know anything about computer science. I was more planning to go into like business or engineering or something like that. So it's kind of crazy to think that if I didn't go to this hackathon, I probably wouldn't be where I am today as a Waterloo CS student. I hope you enjoyed this video about my first hackathon. I definitely encourage you to participate in one yourself if you've never done it before. Um, even though they're gonna be online for the next while, um, I've done a couple online hackathons and I personally found in-person hackathons to be a lot more fun. Anyways, if you wanna hear more hackathon stories, Leave a comment down below to let me know. And as always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.